blue. Jeremy Doncaster, red, uh, sorry, white, and Steve Schofield is in yellow and black. Doncaster on three, Laurel on two, and Mullet on one. Schofield still to score. So a few points up for grabs here. We'll wait and see as the starter marshal calls into line who's going to get them. Lights on. And the way they drive from the start of the first to show in the blue helmet colour is Mark Loram. Mark Loram leads. Loram leads from the rider in red, Dave Mullet. Steve Schofield in third place and Jeremy Doncaster fourth. Doncaster now trying to make up on Steve Schofield. And now Doncaster drives underneath Steve Schofield. Has he got the power to come through though? Still Mullet holding on to third place and Doncaster now comes underneath both of them. Doncaster comes underneath both and we've lost Dave Mullet in an untidy heap and there it was. Did Doncaster take Dave Mullet's leg away from him? And Dave Mullet looked for the second time this afternoon going into the fence. And there we see Dave Mullet walking back to the pits. We have to keep our fingers crossed he's okay. He looks a little bit shaken but uh, none the worse for wear is Dave there. He's back with an old sheep farmer from just on the outskirts of Canterbury. They don't come any better than Dave Mullet. So, for the restart then of heat number 10. Jeremy Doncaster who was the man who come through from that position, but it's all four back for the restart. There Dave Mullet with the Screen Sport logo on the leg of his leathers. He's in gate number one in red. Mark Loram in blue, gate two. No exclusions from this race, which is a little bit of a surprise by the referee. Jeremy Doncaster in white and Steve Schofield in yellow and black. That's the way they line up for the restart of heat number 10. Second time of asking, they drive into the first turn. This time it's Mullet who makes the start from gate number one. So Mullet leads. Doncaster now in white, trying the outside line. So Mullet leads. Doncaster trying to go around the outside of him. Has he got the pace? He has indeed. Doncaster swoops around the outside. So Mullet second, Mark Loram third. And suddenly Steve Schofield tailed off in fourth. And Loram now takes the inside turn on Dave Mullet and comes through sweetly. So first to third for Dave Mullet. But it's Donaldson that leads. Still second, Mark Loram. And now Mullet coming under pressure from Steve Schofield. Mullet lifts, gets the bike back down on the track. There's the man in second place, Mark Loram. Horse rides for the Kingsley, Kingsley Stars in the Sunbright League. Had a tremendous 1990 season. Perhaps didn't get the publicity he deserved. But it's all eyes on Jeremy Doncaster, who's going to get three points if he can hold on to the final two bends. Doncaster with number 15 on his back. He comes up, he takes the flag. Second place is Mark Loram. Third place is Dave Mullet. But it's Jeremy Doncaster who gets the three points and moves sweetly on now. He was on three before this, so he's now on six points and goes into the interval, of course, on six points. He was the winner of the Overseas Speedway Final here at Brandon Stadium last year.